take the outside and oops. Let's go here. And so now the character touches the screen. And here we can see the inside screen perfectly. So here what's inside the screen must be seen perfectly. So let's go in the node library and the filters, take transparency. And let's say here my element is perfectly visible. So if I check transparency, I created a short with the shortcut and let's say it's perfectly visible and here it's perfectly not visible. It's transparent. So let's say here my element is totally not visible. Here it is visible. Perfect. and check the screen we will use a uh, glow so we we'll lose the element from here let's say it is the right position to here Okay, check it. So here we have a 2.5 intensity, a radius will be bigger here, something like 25. Okay, seems okay, goes ahead, everything is visible, the glow works, and now the background behind uh, let's say here yeah, another and one let's say the alpha to zero okay I think it would work for what I have to do Perfect, and now I need to add some filter on my character outside so the light has an effect on him. So I will use once again the move and apply peg transformation. Let's use it from 1 44 to 150, 149, then 153. So let's apply here a peg. Okay. And move the character down from above. Okay, let's say it's okay. Go to the filter, use the tone. Um, where is it? On oh, my favorites. No. In combine tone, let's use it to create a tone for my element. Just invert the mate. And I said 144. F6 149 F6 153 
f6 so first I want a radius of 5 and I want an alpha of 0 then next step is an alpha of 150 and 100 may be good let's see okay and as you can see radius is not enough I need a bigger one something like 10 okay for 10 and then let's use again the apply peg and on this apply peg move again oops sorry create a peg okay and this element I move up all of it will be above the cutter so I will move the cutter from here to the end here actually okay and here I will go inside the node and use a highlight and use it like this so here is the new peg and what I want is to create a highlight inverted as I did okay so exactly the same highlight uh, f6 f6 and again f6 you can see it here okay so first frame alpha is 0 second frame alpha is 150 let's say 200 and let's say here it's okay we go to previous frame maybe add 1.5 and here 1.5 okay and now everything is set up so we shall render take the output says 720 create a v2 in the render so customize as you want uh, I used PNG compression sound but there is no sound and uh, middle quality so it, it's in French and let's render it I come back after render back after the render so here is what we've created so first time the guy is jumping and then goes inside so as you can see <laughs> I shall reuse the frequency of the, the turbulence and maybe of the bubbles here but uh, we did it Okay, that was Romuald Drouillard on Malila Production for Harmony.